Hi there, good morning. Nick Goldschmidt, winemaker for Goldschmidt Vineyards, Forefathers and Boulder Bank. And here I'm going to talk to you about site-specific winemaking. Winemaking is just not taking the grapes, crushing them, putting them in a the tank, adding a yeast, malolactic on skins, not skins, barrel fermentation and barrel aging. There's a lot to winemaking that's more than just making grapes in the winery. So what I'm here to talk about is a little bit about how we go about making the right harvest decision in a particular vineyard. In California, similar to New Zealand and similar to Chile, are relatively young countries. We have a lot of earthquakes, a lot of volcanic activity, and we've had a lot of rivers coming through these areas. And these three countries are what we call areas of young soils. So meandering rivers, earthquakes. And so you can imagine that this one soil is not exactly the same as the next soil and it, you could be only meters away. Whereas you take older countries like Australia or Argentina perhaps, where these, these are what we call older soils or soils that have over millions of years have had a more of a neutralizing effect and have become a little bit more similar to each other in, in a closer proximity. So if we take a, a vineyard in let's say the Alexander Valley or the Napa Valley, and we're talking about Cabernet here, we don't just have one block, we have a multiple of blocks within that vineyard. And what you'll find is we may have a swale or an old riverbed that may have come through that vineyard at some prehistoric time. And so maybe we have more gravel or more stones in this area, and maybe in these areas we have more loam soil or perhaps more clay soil. So when these vineyards are planted, of course we plant in straight lines, because we're an exact vineyard, which is the way most vineyards are planted, you can imagine that we have, when we walk into the vineyard and we walk down this row here, we'll taste the vines or we'll taste the berries here and they'll taste one way and then we'll walk into this gravelly area, they'll taste another way and then we'll walk into this area here and they'll taste another way. So what we need to do as fine wine winemakers is we're gonna to need to pick this area separate to this area and to this area. And this area up here may only be one acre, it may only be three or four tons, versus this area here which may only be six or seven tons and maybe we'll have more fruit or less fruit in this area. So it will culminate in a vineyard manager having to walk down this row three times to pick the grapes from this particular vineyard. So it can be very frustrating but I think the payback itself in terms of the wine quality is, really pays for itself by making the correct picking decision. When we bring these wines into the winery, from this soil versus this soil, we're going to make them very differently. So if we take a cross section, and this is a very crude drawing of the Alexander Valley, and then we cross the Myakama into the Napa Valley, and this is like a cross section, and of course we have Pope Valley, etc. going off in this direction. This is the Russian River, this is the Myakamas, and this is obviously the Napa Creek, which currently goes through there. And there's a really interesting story between Alexander Valley and Napa. I don't know if you know this, but the Napa Valley was actually formed by the Russian River. And was only, and if you look out towards the east here, we can actually see Mount St. Helena. And Mount St. Helena lifted up, blocked off the Russian River, and that's why the Russian River now flows out through the Russian River Valley. So when I think about the Russian River Valley, it's not really a valley. It's just a large piece of land with a river running through it. We need about another 10 million years for that Russian River to form the Russian River Valley into a true valley. So the Russian River formed the Alexander Valley, it formed the Napa Valley, and then of course we had Mount St. Helena block it off, and that's why we've got a different landscape to what we have today. So this is the Russian River flowing through the Alexander Valley, and this is the old Alexander Valley over here, which is now called the Napa Creek. Sorry, the old Russian River that's now called the Napa Creek. And then we have this little area called the Myakamas. The sun comes in this direction, sun rises in the east, sets in the west, if we think about the Alexander Valley and some parts of the Napa Valley, we like to plant on the east facing slopes, but the east facing slopes, particularly in the Alexander Valley, are too steep. And we can't plant vineyards that are over 15% because we have hillside ordinances that prevent us from doing that. And it's the wrong thing to do to the environment to plant vineyards on very steep slopes because we have erosion. So generally we can't plant on these east facing slopes. And so what they do is they tend to plant on these west facing slopes that are more gentle. But you can imagine the sun in the afternoons is very intense on those slopes. And so what we choose to do is try and find vineyards on these knolls 
that are throughout the Alexandra Valley which face more to the east or in some instances face more to the north. And in fact one of my wines called Forefathers, which has got a Cabernet from the Alexandra Valley, comes from a vineyard such as this. And actually I have a wine called Goldschmidt which comes from the front side of one of these knolls and it tra faces true north which is very cool. And of course you can get both of those wines on Vino Shipper. Now if you take what we just discussed in an area like this and plonk it on top of a slope such as this, you can imagine that maybe this swale here is perhaps the top of the hill and maybe this one here is facing more towards the east and maybe this one here faces more towards the west. So that would dramatically change how those berries taste as we walk through the vineyard. These being the top of the hill are going to be a lot thinner in terms of its soils and these ones here being perhaps a little bit deeper and so the vines being a little bit more vigorous.